never forget, I had a dinner with Peter Schneider and Tom Schumacher. They took me out to dinner to talk to me about my next project. You know, and I had, I've written projects, I've written, you know, animated films for princesses, and I've written animated films for Greek gods. And Tom said, and Peter said, I think we're going to write one for cows. <laughs> you know, it's a, it, was, it was called Sweating Bullets, and then it became Home on the Range. Um, again, I worked with Glenn Slater. Not many people saw it. Um, it's worth, I think it's worth seeing, right? Um, and I was so, the, the greatest thing about it, first of all, the cattle drive. Let's talk about the cattle drive. I got to go on an authentic 19th century cattle drive. No electricity, sleeping on the ground. And this was our research. And you haven't lived until you've seen a bunch of animators on a cattle drive. It's really amazing. Um, and I got to work with really amazing artists like Katie Lang. I know a place, pretty as pie, out where the river bend is up at the end of the sky. It's left to Nebraska and over a crest on a little patch of heaven with our west. Everything's green, know what I mean. Quite the sweetest sight that you ever done seen. Ain't nothing much out there, just life at its best on that little patch of heaven way out west. Then, of course, the other memories I have, besides Tom Schumacher and his white fuzzy chaps, <laughs> delightful to see, um, was I got to write a song, a yodeling song. Uh, you see, I yodel a little out of old wood. The sweetest way of wrestling yet defies. But when I yodel a little out of old wood, I little old Well, look at how the cows get hypnotized. He don't prod, he don't yell, still he drives with doggies well. Which ain't easy when your chops are labeled XXXXL. Yes, if you're looking from a bold vibe point of view, I sure can yo label me the little load, label me the little load, label me the little load. Everybody know. <laughs> I got to work with Bonnie Ray. We wrote this song. And one thing about this song, besides the experience of working with Bonnie and putting it into the movie in a good place, I think, this song got written very shortly after the 9-11 attack. And for all of us, it somehow encapsulated that. I don't know why, but somehow we tried to write, a lot of songwriters tried to write something that expressed how they felt about it. And somehow this song, in a movie about cows, did it for me. Rain is pouring down like the heavens are hurt. Seems like it's been dark since the devil knows when. How do you go on, never knowing for certain? Will the sun ever shine again? Feels like it's been years since it started to thunder. Clouds are camping out in the valley and glen. How do you go on when you can't help but wonder? Will the sun ever shine again? What if the rain keeps falling? What if the sky stays gray? What if the winds keep squalling and never go away? Maybe soon the storm will be tired of throwing. Maybe soon it all will be over. Amen. How do you go on? If there's no way of knowing, will the sun ever shine? Wish I could say, send me a sign, one little ray. Lord, if you're listening, how long until then? Will the sun ever shine again?
Okay. Enchanted. You know, this, sometimes projects are in a sort of a development phase, or they just, they go on for years. I, I had heard about this project, it sounded great. I, you know, I was salivating, I wanted, um, hopefully, to be a part of it. And actually, one of the original concepts was, I think, to do parodies of, of Howard's and my songs, and also other kind of Disney songs. Um, so I'm very pleased that I got hired to parody my own songs <laughs> and some other ones. Uh, or I should say pastiche. Pastiche and parody. Little, look them up. Look at the dictionary. There must be a difference. Um, but we went through so many writers and directors, and somehow it just kept being delayed. And I guess maybe it was fate because when we finally did do it with, with Stephen Schwartz as the lyricist and Kevin Lima directing, it was just time for this young actress named Amy Adams to come in. When you meet the someone who was meant for you, for two can become one, there's something we must do. Do you pull each other's tails? Do you feed each other's seeds? No. There is something sweeter True love's kiss and a prince I'm hoping comes with this. That's what brings ever after rings so happy. And that's the reason we need lips so much. For lips are the only things that touch. So to spend the life of endless bliss, just find who you love through true. Come, my little friends, as we all sing a happy little working song. Merry little voices, clear and strong. Come and roll your sleeves up, so to speak, in the kitchen. Cleaning crud up in the kitchen as we sing along. Drill a cheery tune in the stuff as we scrub a stuff or will do stain. Pluck a hero from the shower train to the gay refrain of a happy working song. I have been working so long. I don't know what the age about it. About Disney and cleaning. But <laughs> the opening song of the next movie I worked on involved a lot of cleaning too. Um, and that project was Tangled. And, and like I mean, it was around for quite a while. In fact, I heard that actually Rapunzel was on Walt's wish list going all the way back. Um, and again, I was, I'm seven, I was an eager to the ground, and I was kind of hoping maybe it would come around. And, and I was so blessed and pleased that John Lasseter asked me to come and work on Tangle. And um, it's the first CGI animated musical, it's 3D. And I found out that um, it's also the most popular princess, I'm told, that Rapunzel actually is. And it's, it's an amazing thing. Um, Glenn Slater wrote the lyrics uh, on this with me. <laughs> Morning line up. Start on the chores and sweep till the floor's all clean. Polish and wax, do laundry and mop and shine up. Sweep again, and by then it's like 7:15, and so I'll read a book or maybe two or three. I'll add a few new paintings to my gallery. I'll play guitar and knit and cook and basically just wonder when will my life begin. Tomorrow night, the lights will appear Just like they do on my birthday each year What is it like out there where they glow? Now that I'm old, mother might just let me go 
Mother knows best. Listen to your mother. It's a scary world out there. Mother knows best. One way or another, something will go wrong, I swear. Ruffians, thugs, poison ivy, quicksand, cannibals, and slates, the plague. Also large bugs, men with pointy sticks, and stop no more, you'll just upset me. Mother's right here, mother will protect you, darling, is what I suggest. Skip the drama, stay with mama, mother knows. I'm malicious, mean, and scary. Stay here to girdle dairy, and violence twice. My hands are not the cleanest, but despite my evil look, and my temper, and my hook, I've always learned to be a concertist. Can you see me on the stage performing Mozart? Tickling the eyes till they gleam. Yet I might be called deadly, for my killer show too deadly. Thank you! Good way that deep inside, I got a dream. I got a dream. I got a dream. See, I ain't as cruel and vicious as I say. Though I feel like making famous, you can tell me with a dreamer. It's like everybody else, I got a dream. All those days watching from the windows. All those years outside looking in. All that time never even knowing. Just how blind I've been. Now I'm here blinking in the starlight. Now I'm here suddenly to see. Standing here, it's oh so clear where I'm meant to be. And at last I see the light. And it's like the sky is shifted. And at last I see the light. And it's like the world is moving. And it's warm and real and bright, and the fog at last has lifted. All at once, everything looks different, now that I see you. Now that I see you. Patriotic song. Again, what with David Zippel, little snippet of a song called Star Spangled Man with the Plan. Who's strong and brave here to save the American way? Who has to fight like a man for his right night and day? Who will convey door to door for America? Carry the flag shore to door for America. Thank uh you. -huh. 